Hello gamers of the Game Pro, welcome back to another episode of reviewing the new Boomsday Project expansion. If you guys are new to the stream, new to the channel, new to the videos, make sure to hit that subscribe button while you guys are at it, hit that little bell to receive a little, little extra piece of notification. Ding! And if you guys, uh, you guys should leave a comment and like the video. So, uh, we have 57 new cards to go through, and I'm gonna go through them, uh, in great detail, but at the same time trying not to waste your time. So let's go through them, and let's just get right into it. 57 or 58, this is the final bunch of cards, the big card dump the card reveal stream was uh, today they didn't reveal all the cards um but they were later uh dumped so here we go uh the subject nine five mana four four beast neutral legendary draw five secrets from your deck is that good i'm thinking like uh paladin and maybe hunter can support this is drawing five different secrets from your deck good so you have to run five different secrets so it's like mysterious challenger but it's a legendary so it's a one of so you build your deck around this secret synergy deck uh is drawing five one cause secrets from your deck and then having to play them as good as secret mysterious challenger no it's not on the same power level it's not really that insane it's pretty decent value but it's not broken it's it's pretty good though next one dr morrigan that's not a deck defining meta defining meta breaking deck okay uh, Dr. Morgan, uh, 8 mana, 5-5, five, five, Warlock, Legendary, Minion, Death Riddle, swap this with a minion from your deck, is this good? Uh, imagine you run, like, Big Warlock or something, right? And you have Void Lord in your deck, you, is this good enough to swap this with, uh, with Void Lord, and then you have this back in your deck as an 8 mana, 5-5 five, five that continues again in a situation where you somehow get two copies of this in your deck, um like a copy of this in your deck and a copy on the board it'll never die it'll just keep swapping back and forth i'm not sure how you could do that consistently but if you somehow uh were able to sort your deck to be one thing is it good though eight mana five five it's not really that great to be honest um next galvanizer so this card makes me think of galvadon just with its name but anyways it's a little mech two mana one two mech that reduces the cost of mechs in your hand by one we've seen cards like this for elemental for shaman um, not really great because you want to have a big hand of mechs, but the way the mechs seem to work is you want to play out the mechs on curve, kind of like elementals. Um, you're giving up tempo to play this card, so then with the tempo loss, do you come back with mechs? Didn't really seem like it. You kind of snowball mechs, and you snowball mech, mech on mech with the mechs of the magnetic and shit. Uh, two mana, one, two is not great. Reducing the cost, you then get the benefit back later. I just don't really see this being that insane, um, but it might be good, maybe? You play this with like a one cost mech on turn two, then it's good, I guess? Uh, you'd have to have some crazy draw to support the mech deck. If... I, it could be okay. We'll see. Uh, I don't think it's broken, it's, really, it's pretty good though in a mech deck. Uh, the legendary shaman spell, the Stormbringer, seven mana, transform your minions into random legendary minions. So this goes along with that deck I theory crafted where you have token shaman and you bloodlust. Um, so instead of evolving, you play the Stormbringer. And there's the two card combo for 10 mana. If you play the legendary minion plus the legendary spell for 10 mana total, uh, it'll transform all your minions into two different random legendaries. Haha. <laughs> It's not great. It was a joke. Um, it's okay, though. It's pretty good. I like the card. You have to have a really big board, though, which is kind of fitting that token shaman feel that I want to go for. Try, at least. A uh, four-mana prismatic lens. Um, this was revealed on... Uh, the fucking heart, the card show thingy with, like, Crip and uh, Toast and... And Jackie. Anyways, uh, four mana prismatic lens for Paladin. Uh, draw a minion and a spell from your deck. Swap their cost. So the way this would work well is, let's say you run this with a shit ton of secrets and really high cost minions. Then you swap their stats. You get a one mana minion that's really big, like uh, Lich King, um, Tyrion, etc. Is the card good? I don't really see how you make a deck like that and have it actually be good and work because you to run secrets you would usually have to run the low cost uh, minion called Secret Keeper. Just doesn't seem great. Dynomatic, 5 mana, 3, 4, battle cry, deal 5 damage, randomly split among all minions except mechs. It's a mech for warrior. I saw this card in the reveal stream today. Um, it didn't seem that great because 
let's say your bo your opponent has some minions, you play this. It's nice that it's only minions, but like. 3-4 is 3 mana worth of stats, so it's 2 mana deal 5, randomly split amongst enemy minions. But then again, if your opponent has mechs, then this card is useless. Um, if they don't have normal minions either, like, it's... I don't know, there's situations where this card actually just doesn't have a battle cry, and it's not great. And, I, like, they were saying combo this with uh, Acolyte of Pain, and, like, an 8 mana 3-4 that draw 3 not even guaranteeing they were saying like acolyte with armor smith and this but then if you're gonna run this with acolyte you're not running armor smith because you would want odd paladin so maybe i mean uh, odd warrior so you, maybe this fits into the odd warrior package just because it's better than the other options at five mana but i highly doubt it because there's the card uh it's a five mana taunt three six that shuffles a six nine into your deck uh, I just see that card being better in the fatigue situation. Anyways, here's the big... I might be wrong about this card, but I'm pretty sure it's not game-breaking. It might be just good enough, though. So we'll go through all of the new cards that were revealed. By the way, the new expansion comes out at uh, on August 7th at 10 p.m. 10 a.m. PST or 1 p.m. EST. If you guys were curious on when you should get ready for the expansion, so I'll be doing a, rev uh, a stream 1 p.m. EST. I will stream a little bit earlier, but not like I've done in the last stream, uh, last expansions. I'm gonna stream closer to when it's coming out because we actually know exactly when it's coming out this time. Uh, so I'll start off going through these cards. We have Druid. Uh, two new cards were announced for in the final card dump. Floops, Glorious Gloop. It's a one mana. Uh, legendary spell whenever a minion dies this turn gain one mana crystal this turn only is this card good so for this to be okay uh, you should have to at least get your ma mana back from it this is the one mana you spent on it then anything other than that it's uh, better than an innervate or it's as good as an innervate or better so is this card good of course it is what decks is this good in literally almost every druid deck can be good with this token druid shines the most though because a big tempo lead because of one big turn where you did a lot of trading with an aggressive opponent or something and you take a big turn a uh, mana swing where we've seen before where you can get like five uh five minions killed in a turn five extra mana from this so four bonus mana in a turn you get a four mana swing over your opponent that can be huge especially in token druid it's really snowball you get all your minions you buff them up blah blah, blah it's over um they showed a, t a trent druid today honestly it looked fucking stupid and they were running living mana and i was like that's awful you just made it so you can't buff your big board that you just made this is so bad anyways uh, you you're gonna there's gonna be token druid just it'll be good tending tauren give your other minions one one or summon two 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 trends so this is either a six mana seven eight broken or it's uh buff your whole board by one one which you get to choose we know that flexibility in cards is great i think this card is good is the give your other minions one one good enough um it is because it's a choice it's a situational so i think this card's decent um we got six new hunter cards flarks boom zuka so they were trying to come up with combos for this card in the reveal stream it's an eight mana legendary spell for hunter summon three minions from your deck they attack enemy minions then die so something i thought about is there was the we obviously know about the devil sore egg it's the zero three death rattle three mana summon a five five so if it comes out of your deck it doesn't attack because it can't um and then it dies is bringing out a five five good probably um second part there's a new zero five five mana egg that summons an eight eight is that good with this card yes is it good with play dead yes is it good with death rattle synergy yes okay cool uh you have this with they showed in the reveal stream it's like the seven mana three three death rattle that brings out an eight eight um so you have that come out you attack with it it dies then it brings out your charging devil sore or your king crush you could also they showed um uh, the Abomination card that, uh, it's like a 7 mana 6-6 six, six or something, and, uh, or 6-7, and it, when it dies, it summons a beast that has died this game. Like, cards like that synergize really well with this. It's pretty cool. I think it's a decent card. It's an insane card that goes in, uh, the big, 
um, death rattle hunter deck 100% not even having to change much you literally just add this in as a big uh, also uh, addition to the uh, late game of it or big swing turn of it eight mana win the game I think it's pretty insane. Necromechanic. 5 mana, 3, 6, your death rail is triggered twice. I think this can fit in. It's similar to cube in that aspect of you play this with death rattles and you, and you get two. Or if you could combo this with like, uh, what's it called? The, uh, what's that fuck? Whatever, it's fine. It's the 4 mana, 3, 4 that triggers death rattles after you play them. Uh, Goblin Prank. Give a friendly minion 3, 3 and rush. It dies at the end of the turn. This card's really good. So you play a minion, you play this, and then instantly get it off the same turn. You combo this with Egg. You get a, four, a 5 mana, 3, 6... Uh, Devil Sore Egg with Rush that you trade in, and then it, even if it dies, like what doesn't matter, it was going to die at the end of the turn, then you get a 5-5 five, five as well. Seems pretty insane. You combo this with a 5-mana Egg. You get an 8-8 eight, eight after having a 3-8 Rush. Seems really good. Broken card. Uh, Punter's looking really good with this Death Rattle Egg deck. It's going to be good. It was already good. Top tier, rank 1 for with... Uh... What's his name? Fuck me, I can't remember his name. Doesn't matter, let's move on. Bomb Toss, two mana, deal two damage, summon a zero two goblin bomb. Is this card good? Well, th we see this combo right here. Deal two damage, then make a two five rushing goblin bomb. Seems good. More uh, early actual removal for Hunter. That isn't bad. Sure. Uh, two mana, two two mag magnetic poisonous. So you play this, you play this, you magnetic the bo goblin bomb, and you have a two four charging... Wait, you do not. I'm so stupid. My bad. Never mind. Magnetic poisonous. You'd have to have a bomb or some sort of mech, and then you add poisonous to it. It's not great. It's not great. It's pretty good, but it's not great because mechs aren't going to really be a, a hunter thing. I think we go death rattle package. Uh, secret plan. Discover a secret. I don't think it's that great. You would just rather run the correct secrets. Why would you run this over that? Uh, we have two two new mage cards. Uh, Astral Rift, add two random minions to your hand. I didn't like this card. It didn't really make sense. It doesn't, like, value cards were never really that great, especially randomness. It's not that big of a value either. It's not like Cabalist Tome of five mana, add three, um, three spells. It's, like, lower value. I don't really see it being high enough value to run, maybe, though. Uh, two mana. You have to also remember this is going to be off of Primordial Glyph. Um, two mana... Uh, each player draws two. This is going to be only in Jaina Mage for the fatigue aspect and uh, against combo decks. To, it's going to be like Cold Light Oracle to mill combo cards. Or this will be in a combo oriented mage deck that comes out. Kind of similar to when we had um, uh, the quest. Maybe. that that uh, Cold Light Oracle was in that deck because drawing was very important for your combo. Uh, six mana, three, four, give all minions in your hand, two, two. Is that card good? Not really. We've not seen much. Wait, is that the fucking egg I was talking about? Oh, I thought it was a neutral. So that should I said about... Okay, so we have the normal egg, not... Okay. It's still good. Still good. Hunter, death, death rattles and sin. Is this card good? Mm, not really. We, we've had tried to make hand paladin work before. Six mana, three, four is terrible. Um... 5 mana, 0, 5, summon an 8, 8, Robos, or, uh, so you, you play this, and it, and it gets silenced. 1 mana, 1, 3, Magnetic Mech, great. Amazing. Extra Arms. I saw this card, thought it was terrible. So you're playing a 3 mana, 2, 2 buff, terrible. Then you get another 3 mana, 2, 2 buff, terrible. Don't like this card at all. Um... It's so low tempo, and you're playing it in a case where you want tempo. It just doesn't make sense. Uh, they revealed this card, and I was like a little bit mind blown that they thought this was good. We had a card like this in Paladin. It was the one mana one two, and uh, two mana one two, and it would return the spells that were cast on this to your hand. With that deck, you actually had reasons to do that, and you had a lot of minion buffs. I just don't see this being great because the same situation happens. You verse rogue, they sap it, vanish. You verse um, priest, they psychic scream you. You verse um, any every deck silence. Uh, like 
terrible card. And the buffs in Priest aren't great. The things you run are Divine Spirit and Inner Fire. You're not going to put them on this and then have it get fucked and leave it on the board because then you lose your win condition. You normally set up a minion with high HP, one turn combo them. Why would you do it on this? Swap a minion's attack and health. Zero mana. It's pretty cool, actually. I like that. You can never underestimate zero mana cards. Um, five mana, four, four combo. Give a friendly minion four attack. So, it's like cold, uh, cold light almost. But four attack combo. It's okay. It's not great. It's okay. Maybe for an aggressive rogue deck. I don't really see it though because it's... You need another minion. I guess it could work. I just don't see it fitting. Uh, three mana, add two random death rattle cards to your hand. Because you could... No, no, no. This will never... This won't really see play. Well... Yeah, Fungal Mancer's just better, right? 2-2 two, two to 2 minions, 4-4 four, four stats compared to... The, yeah, it's better. Fungal's better, more powerful without comboing. So you can't play this on turn 5 without a 0 cost card or a coin or something. 3-mana, uh, add 2 death rattle cards to your hand. I don't really see this being a card. 2-mana, uh, elementary reaction, draw a card copied if you played an elemental last turn. 2-mana, draw 2 of the same card if you played an elemental. That's a pretty good card if elemental shaman is a thing. I don't see it being a thing, so the card probably sucks, but it's interesting. Definitely makes it a little bit viable to run an elemental. Maybe not even like... You don't need that many elementals, just like a couple. This card's just good if you have, like, Fireflies. That's probably good. In in just Fireflies, you don't need a whole elemental deck. So, scratch that. Fuck the elementals and fuck elemental deck, Fireflies. Because you have four. Okay. Beakerd Lightning. Deal one damage to all minions. Overload two. I don't like it. But in the Overload spell deck, yeah, it's pretty good because you have to play Overload cards. Um, six mana, summon copies of all demons you control. That's really powerful. You have... You... You get a doom guard off of your... Off of your, uh, weapon. You're probably already winning at that point. But then you copy it for six mana. It's pretty good. Doom guard's great. Uh, this card was insane in the reveal stream. Another uh, soul buster three man and or if you do this on a void lord if a void lord sticks and then you do this Another uh, soul buster gain one attack for each damage your hero has taken this turn so you could do three mana one five It's not great demon by the way. This is important. You could do um, a th Three mana ta or, Sorry you tap so you drew a card just normal warlock things you draw this three mana three five for three That's good good card good card because the fact that yeah you're going to be tapping anyways, or you deal damage yourself anyways with uh, Librarian, Flame Imp, etc. For a second, when I first saw this card, I didn't notice it was a battle cry. I thought it was, like, for this turn, how much damage you have taken, that's what it stats it has. No, it's forever it has this stats, so it's good. Soul Infusion, one mana, give the leftmost minion in your hand 2-2, two, two. good card. Um, it's like playing a 1 mana 2-2, two, two, but it's on another card, so then you can buff things and have benefits like this card. Really, really broken. Probably the, one of the most broken Warlock cards I've seen this expansion. It's a 3 mana, Battle Cry, Doubling Imp, Summon a copy of this minion, 2-2. Two, two. So it's a 3 mana 4-4. Four, four. You get this buff on it, it's a 4 mana 4-4, four, four, plus 4-4. Four, 4, four mana 8-8. Eight, eight. Uh, there's some other demon buff cards. I think just this alone is good, and then there's also the Omega playing multiple copies. So I think these cards are great, and this is great on its own without even requiring buffs. So it's just a good automatic zoo card. I don't know if it gets played in um, in Control Warlock or the or the Q block. Uh, two mana, deal four to your hero and a minion. Good card because you don't care about your health as a warlock. You you eat your health to get tempo. This is a great card. I think even Zoo might run this card, maybe. Because it can help fight for early board. Weapons Project. I didn't like this card. I saw this and I said, this is so fucking stupid. So they're like, this is such a cool card. Because each player equips a 2-3 weapon. So you've gained nothing. Because you both have a weapon. Uh, six armor. For each player. Uh, so it cancels out the armor because you gave them a weapon. Okay. The only way this card's any good is you play this with a weapon removal card, and then you've given them a weapon and removed it. Maybe? 
stretch. Uh, you, they were like, you play this into some opponent's weapon. Why don't you just play weapon removal? That isn't bad. A, th a two mana three two or a three mana three three is better than this. Um, the other point is like. So they said this plus Harrison Jones. Okay, sure. In that situation, a uh, seven mana draw three five four, pretty good, pretty good. But like it's niche. I don't know. I don't really see you running this. Especially, I think Odd Warrior is gonna be the new meta, and uh, even cards don't work. Give a minion rush draw card. Again, I think it's gonna be e uh, Odd Warrior, so this card won't see play. But it's a good card. It's a good card. Uh, I saw this card and thought it was really stupid. It's a 4 mana 5, 6. It's a cool idea, very flavorful, very cool design, but I just don't think it's very good. Harbinger Celestia, I don't see this b being played because it's inconsistent. Uh, stealth, 4 mana 5, 6. You play this and it's a 1, 2. Yeah, after your opponent plays a minion, become a copy of it. So your opponent plays a Firefly, now you have a Firefly. Because they know you played it. It's not like Mirror Entity. Uh, they tried to say it's like Mirror Entity, but no, no. It's your opponent plays a minion and now you cry. 5 mana 6-6. Six, six. Loose Specimen. Battlecry, deal 6 damage randomly split amongst all the other friendly minions. So if you have no other friendly minions, it's a 5 mana 6-6. Six, six. Is it good? Maybe. It's a beast. Relevant. Uh, 5 mana 6-6 six, six is good. But if you have other minions, this is bad. I'm not really sure where you fit this in. Decent card, I guess. And if you want to damage your own minions, then this is a good card. A Holomancer, 5 mana 3-3 three, three after your opponent plays a minion, so I'm going to 1-1 one, copy of it. <sighs> That's pretty cool, I guess, but your opponent in most cases would just remove it without even playing a minion. Or they would clear kill it on board, and it's so low tempo if your opponent can kill it without having to play a minion. They have to play multiple minions for this to be worth it. Not a good card. Crystallizer, deal 5 damage to your hero, gain 5 armor. I saw this in uh, the Warlock deck, and I thought this was really cool. This card's amazing, because tra trading at your health for armor is important, especially you combo this with that Warlock card we just saw. Then it makes it a 3 mana 6 5, and you have a 1 mana 1 3. I think it's an auto include in Zoo, and you're also able to set yourself up for the low HP combo of the 4 mana 7-7 seven, seven for being under 15 HP. You could even start running Molten Giants, etc., and actually having it be viable in Wild. Spark Drill, five ma uh, 6 mana 5-1 Rush Death Rattle, I'll add 2 uh, one, 1 Sparks with Rush to your hand, I don't think the card's good. Next, Unpowered Mauler, 2 mana 2-4 two, can only attack if you cast a spell this turn. Powerful stats. The cost is pretty high. You can't. Uh, it's pretty powerful, I guess. I don't know. It's rough. Having to play a spell to attack is rough. Um, it's a really good stat line though, so I it might be able to see play in a certain deck. Uh, two mana, two one at a one one spark with rush to your hand. Again, it's pretty high cost. Not that much of a value or benefit because you would rather it just be a two mana three two. Give that so. Don't really see it being played. 9 mana, 9, 7, Divine Shield, Pack Filler. Uh, five, 6 mana, 5, 12, Taunt, deal 6 damage to this minion. So this is a 6 mana, 5, 6. If you can pull out a mech from your deck or revive this, then it's a 6 mana, 5, 12. The 6 mana, I guess, doesn't matter. So you're pulling this out of your deck or from the graveyard, reviving it uh, for, for Paladin. Is a 6 mana, 5, 6 that then becomes really good later? Good in that Paladin deck? Maybe. Um, with the new paladin spell putting it in warrior and having it uh have rush and all that and i don't know it seems okay pull it out of your hand with the what is it, the legendary warlock uh warrior spell or something we'll see seems okay interesting cards like that have seen play like we think of the five man uh uh 312 for that's neutral or whatever and hunter runs it in their beast uh, Death Rattle Hunter, where they try to cheat it out of their deck as a as a three twelve instead of having it lose HP based on the opponent's uh, hand size. Five mana two six taunt life steal. It's okay. It's not good. Not that great. But if you buff it with uh, magnetize, it's pretty good. Uh, or magnetic. Four mana four three Death Rattle summon a random minion from your hand that costs two or less. So it's supposed to be like piloted shredder, but it's physically pulling a minion from your hand. So if you get it in the case where you're summoning a minion that costed two from your hand, like Millhouse Mana Storm, it's a great card. 
a uh, pretty good card. I think that card could see play in some sort of aggressive uh, mech deck. I like that card a lot, actually. Especially how you, it's not really random when you set it up. Uh, four mana, five, one rush, bad. It's a, that's a, that's worse than a fireball. Uh, four mana, four, four, gain stealth until your next turn, mech. So you could use that with magnetic. I guess it's okay. Maybe in the case where you comboed this with a magnetic card that you really want to get off so you can have an instant attack. So stealth so your opponent can't interact with it. Four mana, three, two, summon two, zero, two, goblin bombs. I don't really like that card. Unless in the case of a zoo deck, like, uh, getting three cards for one is good for four mana. I think car other cards just do it better. Uh, I guess they're mechs, so if you need three mechs, then there you go. This whole expansion makes me think of, um... Uh, Voltron. Three mana, one five, magnetic taunt. Card's pretty cool for a mech deck, for just some good taunt cards, I guess. It's not great. You magnetic this onto something though, it's a pretty good stat line to add to something that has low HP, for example. If you're holding a spell that costs 5 or more, gain 1-1. One, one. So this can be a 3 mana 4-4, four, four. that's pretty good, with not that big of a cost, honestly. Um, 3 mana 2-2, two, two, death rattle, 4 damage to, deal 4 damage to a random enemy minion. Decent card, opponent can play around it. The stat line isn't that terrible, but like if your opponent, let's say, trades in a 2-drop and then they, like you play this into your opponent's 2-drop to contest it, you didn't have a better play, then they kill it off, they didn't have another minion, and then they play their 3-drop, this kind of really sucks, so I don't think it's that great since it's not just great, it's very situational, and uh, yeah. 3 mana, 2-1, two, summon 2-1-1 two, one, one microbot, so this is a uh, 3 mana, 4-3 potentially. It's okay, it's not great. Bunch of two my, uh, mechs off of this card. Three mana, two, one, deal two damage. We've seen cards like this before. Not not game breaking. Three mana, three, one, gain one HP for each spell in your hand. So max, it can be a three, ten, if you have nine other spells in your hand. That has huge capabilities, and I think this card is insane, and in the right deck, this card could be game-breaking. Holy moly. Uh, Whirlig Glider. Two mana, summon a zero, two goblin bomb, two, one. It's not great. It's that. Another form of it. Two mana, one, two stealth divine shield. It's not insane, not game-breaking. Since we have one mana, one one divine shields, the stealth isn't worth that. It doesn't have any uh, traits either, like mech or beast or anything. Um, toxicologist, two mana, two two. Give your weapon one one. Add this to uh, your king's bane rogue. There you go. Pretty good fucking card. A uh, one mana, one one. Summon a one one Joey bot mech. Uh, this is the best. Zoo mech deck, uh, or sorry, zoo mech card I've seen out of all of them. There you go. This is that mech card I was talking about. I was hoping for, where you were like, this card shit, this card shit, this card shit. This is the one. The one mana one one that summons another. This is like uh, Alley Cat. Okay, there you go. One mana one one magnetic rush. Yes, another great card. These are the kind of cards I'm looking for. Those are the new cards for the new Hearthstone expansion. I might do another video giving a star rating for all the cards. I don't really know if I want to do that yet and commit to, like, this card's a one star, this card's a two star, this card's arena, three star. I'm going to do that shit. Let me know in the comment section below if that's what you guys want. Uh, subscribe if you guys are new. Again, leave a comment in the comment section below and uh, leave a like, boys.